Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at my reading journal for 2023. The last two and a half years I've used the same reading journal, but I finally have run out of pages in that. So I got this journal that I'm planning on using just for this coming year. This journal is a completely random one I found from Amazon. I think the brand is called Paper Age. My main reason was getting a journal like this and not one from Archer and Olive or Notebook Therapy is I really dislike the linen covers that are kind of standard in a lot of more like premium bullet journal brands. I think there are some faux leather covers from those brands, but not in any designs I really liked. I wanted to go with this darker red to just kind of have a more like I don't know, dark academia type of coloring for the journal because my last one was like a bright purple. Regardless of the cover, I think it still will suit all of my needs perfectly fine. So opening up my journal, I have this spread, which was inspired by a post I saw on Pinterest, but then I realized was from a YouTube video that I will definitely link down below. I really liked the design of having like the collage on one side, just kind of announcing it as a reading journal and then the bio on the other side. To be honest, as you can see, the only things I have here are my name and age and then some of my favorite books along the bottom. I really don't know what else to include in this section as like my bio for myself. But as you can see with the overall like color scheme and design of this page, I'm going for that very like vintage scrapbook like torn paper look that has grown in popularity over the last couple years. I think it looks really pretty and has, yeah, just like this like rustic, dark academia type of energy to it, which I really want to bring to my journal. So variations on this theme are what I'm going to be doing for all of my spreads throughout the entire year. The next spread I have here is my yearly goals, which as you can see, I have not yet filled in. I'm still narrowing down exactly what I want my goals to be for this next year with my reading. And this other page I have here is my series tracker. I was actually quite surprised that I was reading nine series. I feel like I barely ever read series and I very much prefer standalones. But there actually were some that I remembered that I was reading that I decided to add into this list. Basically, my plan is as I read them, I will color in the corresponding number. I've not yet done that. And obviously some of these series I have started. So I do have to go in and add all of the coloring to the books that I've read from this list. The next set of spreads are all of my placeholders for all of the books that I'm going to be reading. Basically, when I finish a book, I will print out a mini version of the cover and then glue it in here. I originally saw this from Journal with Chloe and I really like the design of it. I like being able to like visually see all of the covers together in one area. So I have quite a few pages of this. I still need to finish this one, but um, I'm planning on reading at least 75 books this next year. That's what I read in 2022. So I think that I Gave myself like one page extra here in case for some reason I end up going over that. And this page here, I will probably put my like favorite reads of the year and my least favorite reads and then some books that I want to recommend to people based on what I read over the year. This next spread I haven't fully filled in yet, but this is going to be a reading log of everything I read. So in addition to having all the covers previously, I'm also going to write them out over here with the title, the author, and then I think the genre. I'm not sure if I should do something else in this third category. I used to have a lot more involved of a reading tracker of like when I started and ended the book, but I found out it was just too much work to remember the exact dates. And honestly, it's nothing I really need. If I want to look that up, I have a digital like reading tracker as well that I can use to figure out the exact length of time it takes me to read a book. So it just doesn't really make a lot of sense for this book here to have that added in. I have an empty spread here for more of my reading log as the year goes on. Then I have this new releases spread for 2023. Last year, I had a similar spread to my um, reading like tracker spread where I would glue in the covers of the new releases, but I found that I find quite a few new releases as the year goes on and I kind of ran out of room in that one. So I decided to do this one as like different months of the year and somehow I managed to miss December, but by the end of the year, I'm not really super keeping track of new releases anyway. But as you can see here, I have just kind of like roughly written in in pencil the releases that are going to be coming out that I'm interested in just because I really want the list to be roughly chronological. So I want to make sure I have like a pretty comprehensive list of all the books I'm interested in before I fill this in with 10. This next spread is my video tracker spread. 
So I have the date that I want to post the video, the title of the video, and then I have different symbols that represent different like stages of the video process. The filming, editing, doing the audio correction, doing any like add-ons into the video, like doing special graphics or stuff like that. Then uploading to YouTube and then talking about it on social media so people know to check out the video. I might do another one of these on this side of the page or I might do a video ideas spread over here. I'm still working out what I want to do with this area. Then I have my 23 books for 2023. This spread is not fully filled in yet because I have not yet settled on the 23 books that I want to include in this list. This is a sneak peek of some of the books that are going to be included in this list, but I definitely will do a separate video of the 23 books I want to read next year um, in the near future as well. For books that have more than one in the series, I just decided to do them as like this little like box along the side with a plus on it to kind of represent the later books in the series. I just figured that way a little bit cleaner instead of having all of the covers here. And the last spread I have finished in this journal is my January monthly spread. I decided to go back to having my books read as my little bookcase over here instead of printing out all of the covers. I also have a section over here for my TBR. I think I'm also going to use like these gaps of space over here to write different like stats for the month of like how much I'm reading. And then basically for the next like two or three pages worth, I'm going to do uh, like individual spreads for every single book that I read. Previously, I was only doing one spread a month of my favorite book from that month, but I want to have a more like comprehensive list of every single book that I read in my reading journal. I, I might only end up doing like a half of a page per book if I don't have a lot to say on the book, but I think that I do want to have a more like full list of all the books I read in my journal itself. Because usually I only have that as a digital version that I used for my reading wrap-ups. But I just wanted to have like an actual tangible form instead of just the digital file that I use for the video. So that is it for my 2023 journal setup. I'm pretty pleased with the overall theming of the journal so far. And I can't wait to make more spreads in this style in the near future. I probably will go back to doing more plan with me's for upcoming months as well. So please consider subscribing if you aren't already to check those out when they come out. But all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please let me know if you enjoyed it in the comments down below. Please consider liking this video or subscribing if you aren't already. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!